next year. Fake news, okay? Um, this I see this demonization of the alternative media because of failures that the mainstream will not recognize here. This is going to be a battle that's going to continue to heat up, and I and I I'm, I'm worried about censorship, I'm, I'm government censorship of the of the internet, and and trying to censor people like ourselves. Go ahead, Adam. I think that if you want to talk about fake news, I'd rather go to the experts. I'd rather talk about <laughs> stockpiles of weapons of mass destruction in, in Saddam's Iraq. Iraq. Um, and you don't even need to go back that far. You can go to moderate rebels whose acts of moderation include beheading 12-year-old boys and eating the heart of the man that uh, the killer just slayed. So when it comes to fake news, the lies that have been told about the Middle East, the lies that have been told about Donbass, another criminally underreported story, and Donbass must be freed in 2017. Uh, the two republics must have their sovereignty protected. And so when it comes to this fake news, you can find out a lot more truth from sources like RT and strong independent journalists online than you ever could from the mainstream media who yeah. are guardians of truth only in their own minds. Mark, has the scales tipped? Yeah. Is that one of the things that happened in 2016? Because, I mean, the, 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 the mainstream and the establishment are so visceral in their hatred of alternative media. It's because alternative yeah. media is making this, a difference the, the, and it's hurting their bottom, the, the, bottom line. The, this hashtag uh, fake news, hashtag Infowars, it means they're losing. Yeah. It means they're scared they're running you know, you want to bring info war you you want to fight uh you know debates on hashtag fake news bring it i'm ready i'll debate you Demon. right here well i think there is an important underreported story uh, although it is actually fake news that is that russia has become the number one computer power in the world because we hacked the u.s election <laughs> we're going to hack the german election and this is written in the big press this is written in the new york times in time magazine in Süddeutsche zeitung in der spiegel so we have become the best in the no, world co uh, computer wise I, I know adam i'll give you the last word i thought it was all about nuclear weapons now i guess it's really who can hack i guess that's the superpower of the world huh go ahead adam moscow river valley well, we've Silicon come a valley. very long way since 1945. In 1945, you actually had to write a letter to someone to formally declare nuclear war. Now you can do it via tweet. And if the mainstream media are to okay. be believed, then Putin right, is hacking Donald Trump's Twitter. All right, gentlemen, that's all we have for this year, 2016. I want to thank my guests here in Moscow and in London. And thanks to our viewers for watching us here, RT. See you next time.